Good afternoon everyone, Charlene here. Just wanted to do a little quick video for those that are having problems getting their VStream 4 set up. First thing I suggest before you do anything is unplug your internet modem and router. Plug them back in and give them a fresh start. It'll make your installation go a lot smoother. When you get your VStream 4, you're going to get all these little parts in the box. You get the, of course, the power cord, the HDMI cable, the remote, the VStream box. Your antenna will not be connected. You will need to attach it to your VStream 4. These two little plugs a lot of people are having questions about. Those are for out of the country. If you go out of the country or sell one to someone out of the country, they have the converter or whatever you want to call it to make the power work for wherever they're at. When you hook up your VStream to your TV into the um, box, um, then turn it on. This is a screen that's going to come up. Put your remote in mouse mode. You can click here, got it, and that'll go off. Click right here. This will get you started. Once I've done that, I clicked on settings. And excuse some of these slides, they're blurry, but it is what it is. Click on network. And I clicked on Wi Fi because I run mine through Wi Fi. Um, I use the media option on my box. So I click there. It's going to ask for your password, so type in your Wi-Fi password. It's showing it's connecting. Um, here it's showing it connected to whichever one you choose for it to connect to. Then I went to date and time. I set this time zone. I'm in Central Daylight Time, so that's the one I chose. Then it goes back to that screen. Click here on the OTA Updater. When you do, it's going to pull this little screen up. You need to type in um, the code 939393 and click on download. When you do that, it's going to put the OTA updater on your box. It'll run through doing its thing. And then you're going to get another screen. It shows downloading pre-install package. Then your screen will go black. And the VStream will come back on with the VStream logo. And then the little Android guy will show up on the screen. He'll be doing his thing to get everything put on your box. And most of these are just little banners you're going to see on your screen as it's doing its install applications. Once that happened, I had to go back in and make sure I was reconnected to the internet because at that point it wouldn't do anything else. So once I got connected back to the internet and to um, get to the internet, if you'll click here on the little wheel and you can go back in from there and click on networks and uh, reconnect. Um, once I got the home screen pulled up, I clicked on all apps. Right here where it says Android TV app, that's where you get to the Fresh Start and the Updater tab. I clicked on that. You can't see this. The top one says Fresh Start. I went ahead and clicked on that. Let it do its thing. And then I clicked on the Updater button, the Cody Updater button, and told it OK. Shows it's downloading. And then it goes back through. You'll see these big numbers when the second banner pops up. That's where it's installing. And then you can see here my current version is 167. The available, available version is 167. So my box is with the latest, greatest programming on it. Then I went back to the home screen and done a speed test. Um, I do run on Wi-Fi, so that's what it's showing my download and upload speed are. Um, from then, after I do the speed test, I clicked here on VStream TV. Um, and this part, those of you that have used the VStream, you might not want to watch the rest of this, but I realize a lot of us have sold VStreams to people that have never used it before. Um, so this the rest of this is going to be for them, the new people. Um, if you'll 
you can use your um, remote and scroll right to left on the menu bar here. If you put movies in the middle of your screen and hit the down arrow key on your remote, it's going to open up the little subtitle menus underneath. There's many apps here you can scroll right and left and get to. We use Exodus just because we're used to using it, so I clicked on Exodus. Once you do that, your screen is going to look like this. Here, this is my favorite tab. I like the latest, greatest movies, so I clicked on In Theaters. It's going to pull a list up of all the movies. They may not all have streams yet, but I just took a chance and clicked on the top one, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. And then it populated a list. This is going to be all the streams that are available. I just clicked on the top one, and within, you know, probably 30 seconds or so, this was the screen that started showing that was the starting of the show. Also, if you go back to that bar that scrolls, the main bar that scrolls left and right, go to International TV, use the down arrow. There again, there's many apps here you can get to. I just clicked on the one that said Vietnamese, and then TV Vietnam, and you know, it shows different things. I have no idea what it says, but I know a lot of you will. Um, this is their TV channels. Um, <clears throat> There are much, 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 much international programming. So the box is good. Our media center is good for anybody really anywhere in the world. Um, another thing I want to touch on, this is a powerful, powerful tool. Uh, put music in the middle. Hit the down arrow key on your remote. And scroll left and right until you find SoundCloud. Click on that. And it's going to pull this screen up. It's going to say Search or Explore. I clicked on Search and typed in the name Eric Worre. He's a big network marketing guy, books and videos. And he does the most powerful women in network marketing seminar every year, those kind of things. I typed his name in. And this is everything in there. I mean, and the pages go on and on and on. You hear people in network marketing say, get the book, go pro, get it and read it, get it and read it. I realize a lot of people don't want to buy the book, and even if they bought the book, they're not going to read it. You can go on here. Eric Worre reads it to you. You don't have to buy it. You don't have to read it. Just put it on your TV and click on it and listen to it. Um, my opinion, network marketing is 99% personal development. I don't know what tool you could get that would be any more valuable to your business than the V-Stream when it comes to personal development. So that's it. I hope that helps everybody out. Everybody have a good day.